Hello campers! I am the Canadian Beaver and today all of you are in for an adventure. Today I am going to be rafting down the Rideau River and I'm actually starting at a place called Hogsback Falls and I've also brought a special guest along with me and uh, I'd like to all to introduce to you the one, the only... Ryan on the run. Let's do this, Beaver. It is a beautiful summer day here in Canada's national capital region and we're just excited to get into that water, get a little bit wet, uh, maybe get into a little bit of trouble and we are going to follow our nose. First things first, we got to blow up our little rafts and you're all in for a treat because we got a special surprise for all of you. All right, I think I'm ready. I got myself here, my own personalized raft and I'm gonna go down the Rideau River and I'm gonna be bringing along a ride on the run and you gotta check out his uh, ride. And we have uh, Ryan on the run here and this is his transportation of choice. That's my chariot. We have uh, the Canadian Goose and what's that in your hand there, Ryan? This is a bobber uh, filled with beverages maybe. Ooh, beverages. <laughs> I love beverages. <laughs> Campers, campers, camp counselors, all the viewers out there, wish us luck. We're going to try out this river and see how cold it is. Right, Ryan is in the water already, and I'm getting in right now here. Ooh, and the water is nice. So we're navigating our vessels of choice. The beer and the Canadian Goose. And we're going down here on the Rideau River, starting at Hogs Back Falls. And you see right there, that is uh, Heron uh, Bridge or Heron Road. So we're gonna be going down there. And look, there's even rapids up there. So this is gonna be one cool adventure. Good luck. <laughs> and there's the bobber. See, oh my goodness, it is getting deep. All right, see you All right, I'm gonna get my beaver ready to go. So I catch up with him. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> it looks like you're straddling that thing, Ryan. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Uh, just to show you there, I don't know, I don't care. The beaver, and we're going down the river. Oh, oh, here, I, don't, I hope that's not a rock and I get punctured already. Whoa, hey. And here comes some rapids. Well, this is a beautiful day in Canada's national capital region. Even the ducks are enjoying their time out in the water. Oh. You see the buildings in the background, people on the side there. Nice scenery. What a difference it is from winter, uh -oh, from winter to spring to fall to summer. And we are now in summer. And I got to turn around here because we're coming down some rapids here. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Our bobber! It's sinking! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a little bit uh, uh, in line here. All right, let's see what happens. Oh shit! Am I got the right spot? Am I in the right spot? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Watch 
watching us up there. Well, look at the rapids up here, man. Whee! <laughs> look at this. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Nice. Sweet mess. Oh, that was fun. Okay, here's Ryan's approach of the rapids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it! <laughs> hey, right on the run! <laughs> Whoa. All right. <laughs> awesome. It feels great to be on an adventure again. I know I missed the last two Stealth Camping Alliance uh, challenges. I apologize. Uh, life got in the way and. There's only so much uh, of the beaver to go around, so uh, it's awesome to be back out here. And I'm hoping that uh, for this month, July, I know Simple Outdoors, good old Timmy, has set a survival challenge. So hopefully I will be able to do that uh, this month. Uh, but you know what, I'm going to enjoy this trip as I'm on it right now because this is amazing. Uh, you know what, and I'm also going to put the link somewhere around here, or uh, Timmy's channel, Simple Outdoors, go check him out. He's a Stealth Camping Alliance member, and uh, yeah, we're doing the July Survival Challenge. And it's all based around Les Strauss and how he uh, goes out and he does all his of his adventures. So. Uh, me and Ryan on the run are just enjoying this beautiful summer day. He, the bobber is still good. The bobber is still good. <laughs> and we're going down there. Just up ahead, there's still some more rapids. Uh, that is actually Carlton University in front of us. Ryan is starting to go through just the little rapids already. I'm going through these rapids right here. Here we go. campers know Ryan on the run and myself have been planning this trip for a long long time and finally we were able to get out and do it so I just want to thank you Ryan on the run thank you Ryan <laughs> for uh, setting this up uh, such a fun time already uh, there is gonna be some rapids coming up just up ahead there uh, we are still uh, passing Carleton University. They're fixing up the train bridge up ahead, and I know there is lots of rapids, so we're not too sure if we're going to do those, but we'll see what happens. We are still going by Carleton University. This looks like a new part of the university there. And uh, we are contemplating about the rapids that are coming up. We cannot see them because it's actually a natural fault line that goes right across here. So we could be in a lot of trouble. We might actually have to portage this, but going you're going for it? Okay, well, I guess, hey. We just follow our nose, get into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I hope our, uh, that bobber will survive. Did you bring a, an extra patch just in case we pop? Nope. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, and look, look at the background there. Look at all the ducks and all their ducklings. Look at that. You fit, you fit right in there, Ryan, with all the geese. <laughs> Look at that! The, the Canadian goose with all the... What are they doing? They're going on a family vacation? Look at that! Holy shoot! There's like a hundred of them! Look at that! <laughs> that is awesome! Alright, uh, we are coming up to these rapids and... Ryan, are you sure? 
Uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'm not taking a chance. I'm not, I don't want this thing to pop. Uh, I'm, I'm going to the side. I, I, I'm, I'm e putting air to caution here. <laughs> and look at There's still more geese. Look at, look at that. Wow. That is one hell of a shot there, Ryan. <laughs> <gonna be> a while. <laughs> well, at least our beverages are uh, staying cold. <laughs> Don't lose any. But look at that. Oh, a big train. Uh oh, and look, we, we, we have a, we have a, oh, you, no, I'm going to the side. Screw this, screw this. Sorry, I'm going to the side, I'm going to the side. <laughs> I think Ryan's screwed. Uh, I'm telling you, I get to the side, man. <laughs> I'm going to film this just in case he doesn't get across. What the hell is this? Something's going across the water. Oh, I need to get to the side here. This is live action right here. Here we go. <laughs> I need to get to the side. <laughs> Ryan's going for it. Oh, brave man, brave man, Ryan. Brave man. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out. <laughs> there he goes. And he's just starting right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just walking it. I'm walking it. Oh, there's a big spot there. He's going down. Oh my God. What is he doing? <laughs> oh! There's no way I could do this. How the hell did he go down that? <laughs> All right, I'm walking this. There's no way. <laughs> Holy shit, man. He went down that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm still going. Looks like Ryan has gone over there. I'm going to jump back in this. I think it's good enough to go now. See if I can uh, make it through here without popping. Whoa! Looks like Ryan's still on the go. Whoop. Oh, got a rock here. Push me off. Looks like a nice smooth ride going through here. Here we go. Woo! And that's the train bridge. I guess they're rebuilding that. 
Still going across all these. Oh. Oh, Ryan. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, no. Is the bobber okay? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not good. Maybe, yeah. We'll see if we get a, find a place to empty. Maybe there's too much water in it. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does it still float? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Looks like we have uh, a nice, relaxing uh, jog ahead of us here. We got our <laughs> spectators on the side here. More Canadian geese <laughs> pruning themselves up or laughing at us. But we got the big Canadian goose over there. Woo! After doing that little uh, rapid adventure there, I think it's only appropriate to uh, take a little swig out of this little puppy here, my good old, my Betty here. Thank you so much, uh, Robin from Ho Jangle Outdoors. Thank you so much. I love my Betty and I'm glad that I was able to take her out on my first adventure with her. So what a perfect time to uh, celebrate. We passed through uh, the rapids there. We did not pop our uh, vessels. The beaver is still good. The goose is still good. So I'm going to do a cheers. Thank you so much, Robin Hojangle Outdoors for this wonderful gift. I appreciate it so much and uh, I guess perfect time to use on this maiden voyage with this beaver here. So I'm going to open this up here and I got the good stuff in here. Got some uh, spiced rum in here and let's take a swig. So Robin, cilantro. That's the good stuff. Whew, thank you. We are now coming on another bridge uh, right over here. We don't, we're not quite sure which bridge this is called, but it is, what's that street called, Ryan? Do you remember the street? No way. Eh? Uh, well, we're going underneath another big, big, big bridge. Carlton's just up there. The water has slowed down. Uh, uh, people fishing on the side. Uh, people just over here in the reeds. And we're just enjoying our time up here. Have you caught anything on uh, the bobber yet? Uh, no, beaver. <laughs> no, eh? Okay, well, maybe the big whale eventually will catch something. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we're going underneath the bridge. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Campers, camp counselors, viewers, subscribers. You know what? I am coming around to that 500 subscriber mark. And. I'm thinking I'm going to do a little contest with uh, anybody who would like to participate. And uh, the way to do it is by, uh, I just thought of this right now. I have a nice beaver here and uh, I want, if you want to enter the contest, I'm going to be giving out a Canadian beaver t-shirt to anybody that set, gives this beaver a name. It can be any name you want and you will be entered into a draw 
uh, and I will do the drawing on my next video so watch out for that so from now to my next video I want each and every one of you to give uh, an idea of what you want to call this beaver raft so put it in the comments below I will take your comment uh, your name and put it into the draw uh, and this is just to give back to all the people out there who have been watching me through all these it's been almost two years now that I've been doing this on YouTube and uh, I want to give something back to each and every one of you uh, in one way and that is by giving out a t-shirt so uh, I'll give a t-shirt, a bunch of Canadian beaver stuff, and maybe I might throw something else in there. So, give this beaver a name. Ryan, do you have a name for the beaver? I'm going to go with Russ. Russ. All right. Well, hey, guess what? You're not entered yet because you have to put a comment after this video is done. But Russ, what a good name. Russ the beaver. So... Give your name and put it in the comments below. I will enter you in the 500 subscriber contest. Uh, and that's if I make it. I'm not even there yet. So, well, I guess we'll go from there. But uh, good luck to all. And uh, thank you to each and every one of you for watching me on my adventures. I've been having a blast. And uh, thank you to all. Okay, cappers, we are now getting close to the end of our river trip. Uh, and we are going to be stealth capping on an island called Clifford Allen Island, or Allen Clifford Island. I'm not, I can't really remember what it was called, but it's right over here. Uh, it's uh, up ahead there with the bobber. He's going to see if he can find a way to get into it. But this is the island here. For uh, the past, it has been used by homeless people. So hopefully there is no one on there uh, this weekend while we But we're going to go check that out. But this is the island that we are going to go to. And it looks beautiful. So right downtown. Basically, we're very, very close to downtown Ottawa. Google map it and you will see exactly where we're at. Clifford Allen Island or Allen Clifford Island. So uh, check it out. Well, we finally made it to the island. Unfortunately, there's something wrong, very, very wrong with this island. And I'm going to show you pretty quickly what it is. Hey, hi, Ryan. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. But uh, let's uh, come on up here. Oh, this looks freaking nice. But looks can be deceiving sometimes because as soon as you walk up here, oh, we have uh, some batteries, uh, a, a needle. Uh, yeah. So, you know what? This island might not be a good decision to camp on. Uh, well, we never know. Uh, there's uh, more to it later down, but this is the far part, so we don't know if, if this is the bad area or if there's even a good area to it. It looks cool, but uh, we don't want to get any kind of diseases or anything like that just to be stealth camping, and that would not be good. So this could either be a day trip or uh, we might find another location to stay at. So stay tuned. Well, you're watching this, so <laughs> you'll find out pretty soon what we'll be doing. Yikes. <laughs> so things are getting worse by the minute. Uh, Ryan has a massive hole in his goose, but we are getting close to the uh, end here. We are getting close. We have to get to the left. Uh, we have to, you only have a couple more uh, meters. We actually have to get to the left over somewhere over there, but Ryan is running out of fucking air. <laughs> he 
is on his last right here. He's, he, uh, we might have uh, the recreation of Titanic right here, right now. <laughs> Good luck, Ryan. <laughs> He's trying to get all the way to the end where we parked our car. Hopefully he makes it. Oh, well, this uh, adventure has been a blast just from what we've done so far. Uh, stealth camping or camping might not be an option. Uh, yeah, so let's let, let's see what happens here. All right, we are getting to the end. Ryan on the run is still pushing through. He's holding that uh, air lock hole to keep the air in that goose. Is the goose gonna make it? Literally, we are just up here. We are parked on the side of the road, and I think he's going to make it. Come on, Ryan! You're almost there. We made it to the end. Ryan survived. He just had enough air in his Canada Goose to get by. Barely. Uh, barely. Yeah, yeah it, it was barely. Thank you, Ryan, for taking me on this adventure. We are not going to be stealth camping tonight. That was just a bad idea. Uh, I think it's the better... That's a horrible island. Yeah, yeah. Don't go there. <laughs> I don't recommend anybody going to Clifford Allen Island in Ottawa or Allen Clifford Island. There's needles everywhere. And honestly... Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, let's, let's be honest. It's disgusting. So... This is a day trip, but thank you again, Ryan. I've uh, I've been waiting to do this for a while, so thank you so much. Uh, campers, camp, counselors, viewers, and subscribers. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this adventure, and uh, until next time, uh, I hope each and every one of you will get off that couch, take one step after the other, and remember to always follow your nose.